Hi, I'm Lam. Welcome back to Keeping Up with the Queen. Today, I'm here to tell you all you need to know about the Christian Dior Paris Emery Louis Auto Concert. Are you excited? Let's get right into it. If you are new to my channel, hi. If you find this video entertaining, fun, and helpful, and you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. That will really help me out a lot. And if you are my returning subscribers, welcome back. Thank you so much for supporting me all this time. If you want to support me, please make sure to like this video, comment down below, share this video, share my channel with your friends, your family, to help me grow this channel that will really give me a lot of motivation to make better content for you because I love making YouTube. Also make sure to follow me on my Instagram account at lamlovefashion for my personal life of my iconic photo shoots that are not happening much these days because I don't go out and don't interact with much people. But also I have another Instagram account about beauty specifically and relating to my YouTube channel and that is Keeping Up With The Queen. Hopefully I will see some of you over there as well. But with that out of the way, we are going to talk about the main character today. If you've been keeping up with my channel, you probably already know I recently posted a video about my unboxing experience with the Christian Dior fragrances private blend fragrance from Christian Dior in a set of eight of them and it was really really fun so make sure to check it out. I talk more about what I got and I got more than just these and also I might have flopped in this video so it's quite entertaining but make sure you check it out. I'll link it up here as well as down below but basically the Ambre Nuit is one of Dior's private blend fragrances so they have their normal designer fragrances and then it's a step up so it's a more it's less available and it's kind of competing with the exclusives from chanel they're kind of competing with each other you can see from the packaging wise they're kind of clear glass and with a black top i always want to try out chanel uh, exclusive fragrances but they don't come in a set of mini so I can try things out and because of the pandemic I can't really I don't really want to go to the store and smell it um, without like really need to buy something you know what I mean so Dior offered that set of eight so I jumped on it I'm going to make separate videos reviews for each of them because I think they all are pretty special and this one particularly is very hyped up on the internet because it's very fall, winter, spring appropriate because it's more woody, it's a little warm, spicy, and very suitable for this kind of a cooler weather. So I wanted to review it first. I looked up the notes on Fragrantica and in this fragrance, it has amber, of course, because it's Ambre Nuit. Amber is pretty dominant. And then there is rose, pink pepper, bergamot. Bergamot is kind of like a lemony, citrusy kind of a note. And then we have grapefruit. And you know, grapefruit sometimes can create a little bit of that bitterness that is very, very interesting if you do it right. So those are all the notes. They don't really have any opening middle note, note and base notes for this, but I can kind of guess that Probably the amber is going to be in the base and then the bergamot and grapefruits will be in the opening and probably the middle note will be pink pepper and rose. That's my guess. When you first applied it onto your skin, it smells very fresh and luxurious. I'm wearing it now. I don't have the opening. Let me smell it again. Let me just apply it on top. Amazing citrus. Not too citrusy because this is not a citrus fragrance but the citrusy kind of give it a very refreshing opening and it's quite stunning to be honest and a little bit of a green note probably from the grapefruit and actually it's pretty light um, it's not a beast mode kind of fragrance which is surprising to me because this is kind of the first um, private blend fragrance that I've tried 
ever. So I kind of expect it to be really strong, kind of like Tom Ford or like Lavia Bell from Lancome. But it's not. It's very, very light and airy, which is unique. After five minutes of wear, the opening notes kind of disappear. So all the citrusy kind of gone. And the woody note, which is the amber, becomes very, very dominant after five minutes. And I say in my note, I have all my notes in here. And that is a very dry kind of a scent and it's slightly warm and spicy. It's very woody, it's soft, it's leaning, it is leaning masculine. Although, you know, fragrances are genderless, anyone can wear them just based on your preference. I just want to let you know what kind of a feel I'm getting from it. It's pretty masculine in my opinion because there's absolutely no vanilla, no praline, no sweetness in here. And the fruity note is more of a citrus. It's not a fruity. It's not like a juicy fruity note, but it's more of a citrusy, lemony, zesty kind of a scent. And it's gone very quickly. Pretty much the rest of the wear behaves like that. So very woody, uh, amber dominant, very dry. And then the projection, actually the projection is pretty small. And because it's so soft and light, I don't think it has much of a projection. I think the projection is there, but it's not very loud, kind of like, it's not like vanilla when it's like sweetness everywhere, you know. Maybe it's because it's amber dominant, it's kind of projecting in its own way, which is more uh, softer. It's very strong performance for the first three hours. After that, it gets really, really light pretty much a skin scent after three hours and it lasts for like five or six hours total before it becomes really really light to the point of not really detectable anymore. First of all, I love the wood note in here. This is the wood note done right in my preference because I don't like the burnt wood kind of a note. I don't like to smell like a barbecue. I know some people like that but it's not my thing. Um, so fresh cut wood, so it's not burnt in any way, which I love. Pretty masculine to me because I I'm used to wearing like vanilla base, praline kind of a fragrance. So this is very new to me because there's absolutely no sweetness in here. It behaves more like a or an eau de toilette more than an auto parfum to me and let alone it's a private blend so it's very expensive so i feel like it's kind of a miss in my book that is really light that way i can layer it on and on and on and it gets stronger but it never gets to beast mode i think you can pull it off all year round all kind of occasion and it it's not very offensive and it's pretty simple. So it's really, really safe. It's not as loud. It's not as impressive. It's not that um, it doesn't have the wow factor that I was hoping to get. It's a beautiful scent though, but it doesn't like, oh, wow, what is this? You know, it's just pretty, pretty safe. I also noticed that I don't really smell it on me. That's why I say it's really soft, but other people still compliments me. I don't really smell it. So I say it's very soft, very light, not as loud, but other people apparently can still smell me. So if you have the same experience with this fragrance or anything, any other fragrance, let me know down below because I hope I'm not alone here. Pretty simple fragrance uh, and it does not really development throughout the wear at all. It stays the same way after the opening notes of the citrus are kind of gone. It's kind of uh, the pink pepper, the amber, a little tiny bit of a rosy note. But that's about it for the rest of the wear. So it doesn't really have a journey to it. It's a very flat experience and it just kind of fades after a while. That's just my experience with it. The more I wear it, the more I'm like, okay, this is very comforting. It's simple, but maybe that's a good thing to you, uh, to me. Sometimes I like a little bit of complexity in my fragrances, but it is growing on me. I like it more and more. Also, I like it on other people a lot more than I like it on myself. I don't know what's that about. I think that's pretty much it about this fragrance. 
Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this video. Do you agree with my opinion? Do you disagree? Let me know why and what is your favorite private blend from Christian Dior Paris. I hope you like this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share this video with your friends and have a great day. I hope to see you very, very soon. Until next time, don't flop.